It's the Paul Corn Bull Hunting Channel. Paul Corn here from the Paul Corn Bow Hunting Channel. Hey, today I want to talk a little bit about mounting a camera to your bow. There's a bunch of different ways that it can and, ha and has been done over the past several years or several decades. There's a lot of like stabilizer type mount cameras like the Tacticam. There's um, different kind of mounting brackets that you can use to mount just a normal uh, handy cam or camcorder to your bow. The method that I prefer the best is actually kind of a combination. I've actually taken a kill shot camera mount and I've actually modified it. So I've moved it closer to the bow handle. I like that it's got the spring-loaded like shock absorber to help with the impact of your bow. I'm just using a little Sony camera. I like this because this particular model when I open it the camera starts running right away. Very handy. All I have to do is open it up and then hit record. What I like about this is that I can see what I'm doing. I don't have to have an app like for a GoPro or something. I can actually see the screen and I can tip it so that I can look at it and then I actually can zoom back and forth. It's actually really quite simple especially if I'm sitting down and I want to film something that uh, is let's say a deer or a bear or something that I don't want to shoot. I can actually lay the bow on my leg and steady it very nicely and then I have my zoom button right here so I can go back and forth. Probably the biggest tip that I can give you on a camera mounted bow is that you have to, it's imperative that you hold it steady and that's the hardest part and especially the follow through on the shot. I was just practicing because I'm going to South Dakota here tomorrow and I'm probably going to use this uh, camera on my bow to try to get some b-roll or maybe even capture the shot. A lot of times you know the one of the most important things or one of the biggest benefit recording your hunt is being able to see where the arrow hits. Unfortunately when the camera's on the bow you don't follow through like you really should. You need to release that arrow and keep following it. Normally you're going to shoot and then pull the bow down to follow the animal and trust me I've done a lot of video editing throughout the years and I've had a lot of people that have had cameras on their bows and rarely ever do they actually think about following through. You know instincts are going to take over when you are at the moment of truth and you're going to shoot and you're going to want to see where the arrow hit, you're going to want to see where the deer or the bear or the elk or whatever you're hunting where it ran last thing you're going to be thinking about the most common thing I see is that the animal comes in it draws back it's on there the shot goes the bow drops down and then it's pretty much the end of it so the tip that I have for you today is to try and practice this and be aware of it now I know at the moment of truth there's so many things going on probably the last thing you're going to you know that's going to be easy for you to do is to actually concentrate on following through but I know it can be done I've done it before it just really takes a conscious awareness and, and an effort to make sure you have to actually be thinking about it. And I know there's a lot of things going on and if you're not ready for it, don't do it. The most important thing is just to harvest that animal and make sure that you can get, you know, make a nice clean shot and, and you've, you know, it's going to probably take some experience to do that. Once you've gotten to the point where you feel like you can add a little something extra, it is really nice to have that camera mounted on the bow so that you can capture and preserve you know what's going on while you're out in the field or in the woods so number one tip practice 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 very important practice practice following through and then you know if you could harvest some does or you know do some hunting other than your primary you know going on a big elk hunt or something if you can go shoot prairie dogs go anything anything you can do to get yourself practice at aiming and following through I don't think the footage is ever going to be really perfect because just the you know the violence of the bow going off and the shock that gets put into it already makes it the footage jumpy and it's a lot of times hard to see where the arrow hits but you know what it's amazing especially now the bows you know this particular single cam Matthews that I'm shooting right here this is a Creed and it's 
shoots very smoothly and and there's a lot of bows a lot of different models of Matthews a lot of different other bows that that do shoot very smoothly so if you can hold that steady and follow through especially with the editing software that has image stabilization you can get something out of it but you have to remember to hold the bow up and follow through and trust me that is the most difficult thing to do especially when you know you're thinking about just making that shot so I hope this tip helps you and uh, you know get out there and start practicing.